Hi everyone, it's Alyssa here, and today I have a quick product review for you. I have Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray, and it's the original. So here's a close-up of the bottle, front and back. Um, as you can see, it's a spray bottle, so a little black cap spray down on it. Um, it also comes with another smaller trial size or a tester. So, kind of two for the price of one. Uh, basically, the reason I decided to purchase this product is because I saw it on a ton of makeup tutorials and blogs, and everyone seems to be using it and raving about it, so I wanted to test it out for myself. So, I asked for it for my birthday back in September, and Alexa ended up getting it for me, which was really great. Um, she said that she ordered it online straight from the company's website. It arrived super quick and I believe it was $24 and again she didn't expect to get this little one as well so but it was an extra bonus um, I told her she could have it but she felt bad taking part in my birthday present so I have another one um, so what you do is you do your entire makeup routine and then you hold it 8 inches well you shake it up and then you hold it 8 inches from your face and you do an X and a T formation, obviously your mouth is closed. Um, I mean, it's safe for your eyes and get in your mouth, but obviously don't want to get it in your mouth. Um, and it's supposed to set your makeup all day or for 16 hours. So I, I've been using it for about four or five weeks now and I really love it. I don't use it during the week when I do my makeup routine for work because um, that's like a real simple like BB cream, like eyeliner, mascara and go and I don't really care if it doesn't stay. But I do use this on the weekends um, when I do a full makeup routine. So I'll do, you know, um, primer, foundation, concealer, blush, powder, um, all my eye makeup and even lip makeup. And then I'll put this on. Um, and it does stay. It definitely stays. It's resistant against all types of, like, humidity. So when it's really warm out and gross and muggy, um, even, like, when you feel, like, the beads of sweat start to form on your face, um, it doesn't make your makeup... Uh, run or move at all. This definitely holds it all in place, um, but it's not water resistant. It, it does come off, so when you go to wash your face at the end of the day or end of the night, um, it will come off easily. Um, my only, I guess, complaint is the way I do my makeup, my mascara is the last thing I put on, and then I'll put this on. And when I do that, the, there's like little black like lines start to form, like the mascara comes off. So I don't know if the mascara is still too wet to put something else on top of it or that the Scandinavia just doesn't react well with it even though the mascara is waterproof so I've decided to do my whole makeup routine then put the Scandinavia on um, let it dry it takes about 45 seconds to a minute and then I do the mascara so the mascara is not actually I guess set on my face but that's fine fine for me because it's waterproof um, and so I do it that way um, like I said it's Definitely water takes this off. Um, I actually like cried once with it on and like again black started forming under my eyes and then when I went to like wipe it away um, the Scandinavia stuff started like moving to the side and it was almost like a soapy kind of consistency. So I haven't read all the um, ingredients or anything but I guess it's a little soapy um, which doesn't matter to me as long as it works. Um, but yeah I did notice that. Um, other than that, not much to say. I know there's a couple other versions of it. Like I said, this is the original. I believe there's like a level up and then I think a bridal version and maybe one more. Um, I, I can't imagine what's different from them. I would think they'd all kind of serve the same purpose to set it. I'm thinking maybe they have kind of different like finishes, like maybe like a shimmery or like a glimmery one. Um, but this is totally normal. Whatever makeup you put on, after you put this on, it's going to be the same kind of consistency, whether you have something matte on or shimmer or um, or whatever. This isn't going to change that at all. Um, and like I was saying before, it even sets like lip products. Uh, so if you do, like I do a lot of like baby lips followed by like a MAC lip glass. Um, so it sets that. But then if you go to eat or drink, obviously a little bit comes off. But the stain, like the underlying stain is still there. So I really love it. Like I said, I've been using it for about like three, four, or five weeks now, and I'm definitely going to use it all up and continue to repurchase. It's, it's become a, a staple in my makeup routine. So again, Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. Highly recommend it. Um, 
you can just Google it or I can link it below and order right from their website. Super prompt, um, efficient, and um, again, I recommend it. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.